Hello. Uh, the, I'm going for a very specific look this time. Um, this is a subculture that I'm not a part of, but that I really enjoy. And that is scene. The scene subculture. I tried to do a very scene look. The only thing that I really, um, didn't try very hard on was my hair. Scene people, um, they often have very big, like, I, usually either black or, like, very colorful hair, and it's very spiky and big, kind of like the way I already do my hair when I bother to do it. I just didn't bother this time. I didn't feel like it. Sorry, guys. The new hairspray I have isn't the best, so it's kind of hard, you know? <laughs> Look, it's not impossible. I do have hair gel that I could have used if I had bothered, but I'm, I just wasn't feeling like it, you know? That being said, I do have this little pin in my hair, so it's not like I did nothing. I did a little something, you know? I've got this little clip, this barrette, and that's nice. And, uh, so, um, the thing that really inspired me to do this was just this hoodie. This is the scenest thing in the world, this Gur hoodie. You see, um, this is a character from Invader Zim, which is a very popular show amongst alternative people. Um, especially scene people. Scene people in the scene scene, they really love, um, Gur, especially, like, the character Gur, and just Invader Zim in general. They're very big fans of it, and, uh, like, to the point where, like, for example, um, there's a, a community, uh, r slash scene on, um, Reddit, you know? r slash scene, the, uh, the icon that they use is a picture of Gur. So, yeah, he's just a really popular guy, uh, within the scene community. So, yeah. But for that reason, I often don't wear this hoodie because I don't want to get mistaken for a scene kid because I'm not one, you know? Nothing wrong with them. I really love them and I love their look. But it's not my thing. It's not my subculture. Um, I don't listen to the music if there is scene music. I actually don't know if there is. There probably is, uh, I think. There's scene music. I know there's emo music, and, like, scene is kind of a spin-off of emo. It's like a, it's a bit like a very colorful version of emo. That's the impression I get. I don't know, right? Like, I actually don't know anything about it. <laughs> but the impression I get is that it's, like, a very colorful spin-off of, like, emo. So anyway, um... My room is still filthy. Still filthy. <laughs> yeah, um... If you're a scene kid out there, I hope that you are, uh, pleased with my attempt at, um, replicating the look to my best, uh, to my, uh, best ability. Uh, I know it's probably not perfect, but I really like the look, and, uh, I think that it's really fun, you know? I think, um, like, scene and emo people have gotten looked down upon especially, like, in the, like, 2000s and early 2010s and stuff. But I think that's, like, a bit boring now, you know, to, to be so very boring as to, to hate on someone like that for being so interesting, you know? <sighs> for being different. Um, like, damn, sure does suck, you know? <laughs> like, that some people give a shit and that they, they give a shit in a negative way. Ridiculous, man. So, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day.